Let's talk about narcissistic student drivers. I'm a state certified driving instructor and I'm gonna take you through this process. We're in a downtown area, so I'm gonna drive from the perspective of a narcissistic student driver and give you both sides. We're coming up to a four-way stop. You have to stop and yield the right of way. The first car here is the first car to leave. I'm going to make a left-hand turn. Our narcissistic driver would just blow through this in no regard. So I see the pedestrian there, I'm gonna wait. That's the courteous and right thing to do. You can see this guy walking past, he's like, Whoosh. thank you. Then I look left and right and I make my turn. And then I turn hand over hand. I'm really tall, I got to see back, hopefully you can see my hands. And then I turn out hand over hand. We're scanning the area for people and hazards. There's an angle parking spot to the right. I'm gonna turn on my turn signal. A narcissistic driver would just turn the wheel really hard and this throws the car all the way to the right. So if you overturn left or right, you're gonna sideswipe the car. Me as an instructor, I'm saying, wow, I gotta teach this person? So you come up and you look and check. Now that's a pretty good park. Now, you have to look. You see me looking over my shoulder, GoPro on, and both hands on the wheel, so I'm gonna reverse. I do have the aid of the backup camera, but that's not gonna save me. You have to look over your right shoulder and left shoulder because people and cars will come. So I'm looking over my shoulder, you see me putting my hand here, and I'm looking. I know you see that scary monster there, right? <laughs> so I'm looking. I turn my head both left and right. Now, I cut my wheels all the way to the right. The rear goes to the right. The front swings out to the left. What would a narcissistic driver do? They'll just turn the wheel really fast and hit the gas. You see how the car veers to the left and we almost hit the curb. As a teacher, and a driving instructor, I'm trained to stay consistent, to stay calm, to stay patient. But also, I wanna give the student insight. And part of my job is being a counselor because we've had professional development classes in here. So we see our pedestrians to the right, our narcissistic driver would not see people, would see them as something else. You always have to be a defensive driver out here. Uh, there's another four-way stop. I see the person walking. People walk between cars. There are people here. Cars and kids do not mix. So I'm stopping at the stop line. I stop. Now you gotta make a decision about this pedestrian. What would a narcissistic driver do? They would just go up and cut. I'm looking at this guy here. He's looking at me and I'm gonna wait. I'm looking left, I look right. She's kind of darting across the street. So I'm just gonna wait. There's a driver behind me getting impatient. Oh well, you gotta be patient. And then I turn hand over hand. If I let the wheel spin, I'm gonna hit this car. See what happens? This is what a narcissistic driver will do. And I've dealt with those. They don't wanna listen to instructions and they put me and other drivers in danger. How do I know? Because my drivers have told me this. They pull me aside and say, listen, I can't drive with them. I get scared. And that's hard, and that's the side that you don't hear, but I'm giving you insight. So, we're gonna go in this one-way parking area. These are angle parking spots. I'm going slow, I'm looking and checking. I always watch for people. So I'm turning hand over hand into the turn. What would a narcissistic driver do? Just hit it really hard and go in just like this. And if they hit something, they just hit it. They don't care. I want care and patience with my drivers. If some of these personality traits fit you, you might be a narcissistic driver. Same thing, I'm looking over my shoulder, but I'm gonna look in the back of camera. I only see one view, and that's with this camera that I'm looking at, but I don't see left and I don't see right. Look around as you back up, and hopefully you can see. Okay, you've got to turn your head. You have to look around. And you want to back up when you are straight. And then you turn out hand over hand. You want to stay in the middle right. Cars could back up from the right. Cars could back up from the left. I am not trying to get hit. So we're scanning, we're looking for cars, brake lights, tail lights, people in vehicles. 
you want to be careful. This is the typical downtown area anywhere in the world. So I'm looking and I'm going up to the stop sign. A narcissistic driver would stop basically in the intersection. No, you've got to stop behind the stop sign. 